So, good morning, everyone. My name is Kohei Ohashi. Today, I would like to talk about a negatively charged nitrogen vacancy center in a 5 nanometer thin carbon derived diamond film. This work has been published by Nanoletters last month. So, our long term goal is detecting single proton nuclear spin at room temperature and no vacuum. For what purpose? If we could detect a single proton spin under such conditions, we can get the molecular 3D imaging of living cell. That is exciting news for biology, uh, the medical, and so on. For this purpose, we need a sensor which can detect the very small magnetic field from the proton spin. So, what can we use as a sensor? We use defect of the diamond. Let's see diamond structure. In diamond structure, there are uh, negatively charged nitrogen vacancy centers, NV minus center. NV minus center has a spin, which has a long coherence time, the order of two milliseconds at room temperature. And we can read out uh, spin state optically. I will show you the basic concept of the detecting uh, proton spin with using NV center. We put molecule on the diamond surface, which includes proton spin. Then we focus green laser on the NV minus center. The red photoluminescence appears. And finally, we detect the red photoluminescence through confocal system. Photoluminescence intensity depends on the NV minus spin state. So uh, we, can, we can get the spin changes by the magnetic field from the proton optically. Now well, let's go to the main part. Today, this, is, this is today's agenda. First, I will explain about the sample growth. In order to detect single proton spins, there are two important points. First, NV minus center has to be as close as possible to the diamond surface. It is because we need sufficient dipolar coupling between NV minus center and uh, uh, proton spins. Second, NV minus center has to have a long coherence time because the smallest detectable magnetic field is inversely proportional to root T2. The longer T2, the better sensitivity. However, there is a fundamental problem. This is energy band diagram of hydrogen terminated surf diamond surface. As grown diamond surface is terminated by hydrogen. Um, horizontal axis is the distance from the surface. In H terminated diamond surface, NV minus level bend up near the surface. As a result, NV minus level goes upper than Fermi level. This means uh, NV center very close to the surface prefer to be NV zero, not NV minus. That is problem because uh, we need NV minus center because NV zero is not useful for magnetometry. So what do we do? One approach is changing surface termination into uh, such as oxygen or fluorine termination. Many papers have shown that in oxygen and fluorine termination, the band bending reduce and uh, NV minus, minus center can be created uh, near surface region. But our approach is different from it. Our approach is putting too much nitrogen near the surface layer. As a result, the Fermi level goes upper than Fermi level. NV minus center can be created this uh, surface region. So our sample growth concept is uh, stabilize NV minus very close to the surface by putting too much nitrogen. 
With this concept, we grew this sample. On the diamond substrate, which has no LV center, 12 nanometer carbon 12 buffer layer was grown by chemical vapor deposition growth, which also has no NV center because no nitrogen gas was supplied during the growth. In the last top layer, we grew 5 nanometer carbon 12 layer with nitrogen gas to create NV center intentionally. This layer is expected to be too high nitrogen. 10 to the 18 per cubic centimeter. Uh, the surface termination is terminate, uh, terminated by hydrogen. So let's move on to the experimental part. We measured optical and spin properties of this sample. This is confocal photomethane scans of each depth at room temperature. These are XY scans of at, uh, at the surface and 5 micrometer and 20 micrometer from the surface region. The bright spot appear only in surface region. These were dark, which means uh, there is no NV minus center in, on the substrate. We investigated this bright spot. This is photoluminescent spectrum at room temperature of this uh, bright spot. The typical NV minus center spectrum was observed, zero phonon line and phonon sideband. In addition, we did ODMR measurement of this bright spot. The three hyperfine splitting due to coupling to, to nitrogen-14 nuclear spin was clearly observed. Therefore, these bright spots are NV minus center. We succeeded in the doping of NV minus center in five nanometer thin layer. Then we characterize the spin property of this NV minus center. This is spin echo measurement for five different NV minus centers. All NV minus centers are in five nanometer thin film. These T2 values are 45, 31, 24, 23, 13 microsecond. The average value of T2 was 27 microsecond. Let's compare to another sample. This sample was measured by Toyofumi Ishikawa, who is a former student of this group. The T2 value of NV minus center in 100 nanometer layer was 1.7 millisecond. Our sample T2 is much shorter than this sample. Why? We suspect that uh, the high nitrogen concentration and the surface paramagnetic center contribute to the short T2. But anyway, uh, we have a long enough T2 to detect single proton spin theoretically. I will show you, uh, I will mention it later. And I briefly show you another spin properties, T1 and T2 star. The average value of T1 was 3.3 millisecond and T2 star was 770 nanosecond. So next, we have investigated the dependence of the surface chemistry. We changed the surface, uh, surface termination into oxygen and fluorine termination by this method. As I said before, in O and F termination, the band bending should reduce and uh, NV center very close to the surface should be more stable compared to hydrogen termination. So we estimated the NV minus concentration of each termination, hydrogen and oxygen and fluorine. The NV minus concentration in oxygen and fluorine termination were slightly increasing compared to hydrogen termination. We conclude that uh, in O and F termination, we have a chance to see NV minus closer to the surface compared to hydrogen termination. 
That's why NV minus concentration was increasing. So we did a T2 measurement and T1 measurement of each termination, H or F termination. The point is that uh, the T1 value of O termination and F termination have a large spread compared to H terminations. This means uh, we measured uh, NV minus center many kinds of the depths in O termination and F termination. Because T1 value is mainly limited by uh, the surface paramagnetic center. So that, that is proof that uh, we have a chance to see NV minus center close to the surface in O, o and F termination. So finally, we demonstrated the ensemble proton detection. We put immersion oil on the diamond surface, which includes 1,000 to 10,000 ensemble proton spin in the detection area. We first tried to detect ensemble proton spin, not single proton spin, by using this NV center. This experiment is actually the same as this science, these two science papers. They also put the ensemble NV center, uh, no, ensemble, ensemble proton spin on the diamond surface, and they succeeded in the detection of ensemble pro proton spins. This is our, our results. We also succeeded in the detection of ensemble proton spin. We used spin locking magnetic sensing protocol described by this paper. The peak at 8.9 megahertz corresponding to la proton lama frequency was clearly seen like this. So this means uh, we succeeded in the detection of ensemble proton spin. In the future, we want to detect single proton spin, not ensemble proton spin. So uh, I will show you the theoretical outlook of detecting a single proton spin. The magnetic field from the single proton spin is given by this formula. The magnetic field at the distance five nanometer away from the proton spin is 11 nanotesla. Next, next, let's consider the magnetic field sensitivity of NV minus center. Magnetic field sensitivity is, as I said before, uh, given by this formula. When the T2 value is 45 microsecond and total measurement time is 100 second, the sensitivity is 3 nanotesla. This would be sufficient to detect single proton spin. Theoretically, it is possible to detect single proton spins. However, this is a theoretical uh, ideal calculation. Actually, we have to consider about uh, consider more. For example, uh, how do we prepare single proton spin? How do we uh, detect moving proton spin and so on? So actually, there are many steps towards uh, detecting single proton spins. So uh, conclusion. We succeeded in the formation of NV minus center within five nanometer thin carbon tail layer by heavy nitrogen doping during a chemical vapor deposition, even for a hydrogen terminated surface. We obtained reasonable coherence time. And uh, NV minus formation was enhanced by changing surface chemistry to oxygen and fluorine termination. And surface ensemble proton spins were detected. And theoretically, it has enough coherence time to detect single proton spin. So finally, I would like to say thanks to uh, many collaborators. In Keio University, this work has been done at uh, Kohei Ito Group and Junko Hayase Group. The sample growth was done at AIST in Tsukuba, mainly Dr. Hideyuki Watanabe. And most of the experiment has been done at ETH in Switzerland, 
Christian Degan group. And we discussed many times with uh, Hewlett Packard Laboratory in California. So that is all of my talk. Thank you for your kind attention.